Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's your man the TV guy and in this video we're going to talk about expanded storage for the Miraclebox 4.0 Media Center and what I have right here is a brand new Miraclebox 4.0 Media Center still in the pack and some of you may be wondering how can you expand your storage? How can you expand it so you can get more movies to download, more games to download and more content to have this as a portable storage media unit. Well, we're gonna be combining the Miraclebox 4.0 with a expanded storage that I just purchased, and that expanded storage is in the form of a 2.5 SATA hard drive. Again, this is what we're gonna to use to expand our storage, and as you can see here, it is one terabyte, which is more than enough space to store anything that we want. So in this video, we're gonna show you exactly how to do this and we're going to see if this is the correct version of a SATA hard drive that will automatically be compatible with the miracle box and again this video is going to teach you something about expanded storage so don't go anywhere Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is the only device on planet Earth that has a storage capacity built with inside of it. So you're going to notice that as you examine it. So take it out, examine it. And if you look at the bottom, you can pull the bottom apart, you know, by pressing in the two little levers here. And as you see, there is a space for a SATA hard drive. And again, you just determine the size. So what we're going to do now is we're going, we're going to actually go in here, we're going to open up the brand new 2.5 set of hard drive, and we're going to add about a terabyte of storage capacity to our Miracle Box. So let me kind of get this thing cut open here, just so you guys can see exactly what it looks like when you buy one. And again, uh, there will be links below to where I purchased this from, so you can actually get you one as well. So we're going to open this thing up, and let me uh, kind of get this a little bit better here and again we're going to open this up and be careful not to damage it uh, so when you slice just uh, be a little careful when you do that and I'm going to pull this out and show you how the package comes so again there it is it's actually packaged pretty well and um, you know keeps it pretty safe so I'm going to pull these things apart and it's going to come in a little uh, plastic here and I'm going to actually go through and cut this but this is our 2.5 set of hard drive so let me cut this plastic right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually insert this into our Miracle Box 4.0. And um, this is going to start the physical part of what we got to do. So, so make sure you match up the grooves. So as you see, there are grooves on the side of this. And you want to fit those right into your Miracle Box. So you're going to see the grooves. You're going to see what it looks like. And so as you see, there is a groove right here that slides right in. So you wanna slide it in and make sure you slide it in sturdy. Make sure it's in there tight. Make sure it's in there good. Make sure it's in there connecting. And so it will actually slide into that plug that's in the Miracle Box and make sure it is very sturdy. That's gonna be very, very important. So once you have it in as sturdy as you possibly can get it and it's secure, then you can kind of check it and just make sure it's not shaking or anything. And once you do that, you can actually go ahead on and you can actually place the bottom back on the Miracle Box and this will actually start to secure your storage nice and tight. And now we're gonna show you how to configure your unit. Okay, so what you wanna do now is you wanna take your unit and you actually wanna plug it in. So again, plug in your power cord and plug in your HDMI. And once you do that, set it down and we're gonna power it on. I'm gonna see you in the inside of the box. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're inside the Miracle Box 4.0. Now, the first thing you wanna do after you've done everything is go down to settings. You're gonna open up settings at the bottom and you're gonna go all the way down to storage and reset. So you're gonna see it right here. There it is, click okay. And you're gonna see your removable storage show up. Now, I have 32 gigs of internal storage and I have my removable storage. So you wanna highlight the removable storage, you wanna click OK on the removable storage. Now once you do that, it's gonna ask you to set up as removable storage or set up as device storage. 
you want to set this up as device storage so it can combine the two. So you're gonna go to set up a device as device storage and you're gonna click okay. And it's gonna ask you to format as device storage. You wanna click down and you wanna to go to format as device storage so it can format it. You're gonna click okay and you're gonna wait a few moments for it to kind of format this drive so it acts as an internal storage for your MiracleBox 4.0. So again, don't do anything, don't shake it, don't move it, let it kind of sit and let it format the drive. And uh, we're gonna see uh, exactly what's gonna happen once it is finished formatting. So it's going here, it's gonna take a moment here, and again, just be patient. So now it's done. Now again, that didn't take long, so you can select to move it now or move it later. I'm going to move it now, I wouldn't do this later, I would actually move everything you have over on there now and um, you know, this way you have it out the way and everything that you do forward will be in this storage. So again, select move now since you're doing this. Don't do move later, do move now. So I'm gonna select move now and it's gonna move whatever I have on here to the USB hard drive. So now I want you, I want you to see something. Notice this, my total space is now 128 gigs. 100 gigs equals a terabyte. So now I have just over a terabyte of space. So when I click on this to see it, you'll notice that you now have the expanded storage that you need. So I'm gonna click OK by hitting the OK and it's gonna break down how my storage is applied. So I don't have any apps on here yet, no videos, no audio, and no downloads yet. I did this when I first opened up the box. And as you see, I have a lot of space available to do with what I please. Now, hopefully you were able to follow that video. As you saw, I took my MiracleBox 4.0 from just having 32 gigabytes of space to now one terabyte of space. That means I have enough room to download as many videos, music, games, and apps without the fear of running out of space. And trust me, one terabyte is a lot of space and gives you enough room to be able to turn this into an all-in-one media entertainment system, getting as much out of it as you possibly can. Now in this video, I'm gonna also give you a little bonus that you didn't know about. I'm gonna show you a way you can manage and mitigate all of those files that you'll be downloading on your MiracleBox, and it's an app known as ES File Explorer. And when you download this app, it's gonna make going through all of your content a whole lot easier. So. Stay tuned in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download ES File Explorer on your MiracleBox 4.0 so that you can effectively organize all of your media. Okay, we are back inside the MiracleBox 4.0 and now we're gonna get an app uh, through the Appetite TV store. And this app is called ES File Explorer. So we're gonna open that up and we're just gonna search, do the search here and we're gonna type in ES, File Explorer. As a matter of fact, it came up already, so I'm going to kind of highlight here to it. So let me uh, finish highlighting to it right there. All right, so I'm going to click on this, and you're going to see ES File Explorer. And this is what you want to use. You want to go down to the one that's rated the highest. It means it has the best reviews. So once you click on it, it's going to ask you, do you want to install it? And you want to click OK to install and give this time to install. Now, once it's done, and we're gonna have an extra tool here that can definitely benefit us. So uh, letting this install here, and again, it could take a while to configure. So now it's done, it's installed, and the next thing we wanna do is we actually wanna open it. So it's gonna ask you to agree, you wanna hit allow, things of that nature. So uh, once you allow it, allow it again, uh, just allow it to do everything. And as you see, it will kinda give you uh, a snapshot of what type of storage you have, um, whether it's music, whether it's movies, whether it's a cleaner, an app, things of that nature. So again, it'll give you a snapshot of all your storage and you can actually go through and manage the different types of storage here. And as you see, um, I've used some of the storage already. Um, and so I'm gonna go through here and just kinda you know do my settings. But again, this is a trusty tool to have if you just wanna know how organized is your storage and what 
type of storage capacity you're using for what file. So again, as you click on settings, you know, it'll tell you uh, all the type of things about your storage. It'll analyze it and it'll tell you what you have uh, in storage. As you see, I have nine, uh, 992 megabytes in other storage. So again, it does give you that great breakdown that you want. So a very trusty tool to have. So folks, now that you got your storage, now that you got your ES File Explorer, you have a powerhouse of a media storage unit. And so remember, if you wanna purchase a MiracleBox 4.0, then there's gonna be a link below. It's the world's most powerful media center. And if you wanna make sure you get the right hard drive, because as we saw, this is very, very compatible to the MiracleBox. And I would also suggest doing this before you put a lot of stuff on your miracle box because it makes it easier to migrate stuff. And so there is a link below so you can purchase this exact hard drive. It's one terabyte of space, it's WD Blue. And again, I'm gonna provide the link so that you get the right one because we know that this one is compatible. Now folks, if you found this video helpful for you in your miracle box experience, make sure you comment, like, and share below and make sure you subscribe to this channel for more tips about how to avoid high cable bills and how to effectively use your MiracleBox 4.0. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.